Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. Marianne Tobaz is going to give me the correct title of, of the this, festival coming. Up. Yeah, the Sea Level Singer Songwriter Festival. It's awesome. It's got nothing. To, we have rising stars, though, right? We have emerging artists and rising stars and video releases celebrating our fair city and uh, all kinds of, of great events around our festival. And the festival is going to start when? April second. You can't start it right here on the sofa because you got one of the biggest <laughs> acts coming out of Norfolk right now. Every time I go on YouTube. Sky Zents is there. Oh, I love it. Shucks. It's love really it. fun. You having fun? I'm having a great time. Yeah, and and it's great to be doing something as a part of TAO's festival because I've already been um, connected with TAO doing programs for them for the last six years. A while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, how long have you known Marianne? Probably. But a while. Eight, ten years. Yeah. A long time. Maybe. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. You always carried your guitar around. You're always ready to be the emerging <laughs> performing well, act right here. I love to share art with people, and I love to engage people in the experience and the fun that I have when I'm doing art. And, uh, and Good, I so think you're not speaking the past tense then. You're still mm -hmm. performing oh, yeah. yourself. Yes. Because yes. you've got hundreds of artists now who are calling us home or. Well, it's in their heart. We've, we've created a space at Tidewater Arts Outreach for local artists to use their talents to give back to the community. And so we're, we're um, matching artists with opportunities to share their talents with people who have special needs and who can't get out and experience the arts. And Sky is a perfect case in point. This Thursday, she's going to Holiday House in Portsmouth and singing with the young residents there and, and entertaining staff too and inter oh, interacting wow. with staff and and kids okay now it's something that mary and i have talked about mm -hmm. and we've shared on the show is sometimes it can be all about the numbers mm. how many people will you be performing for next week uh you know? next tomorrow you mean yeah. at holiday house yeah, when you perform uh at holiday house it's um usually what it's it's very interesting they actually divide up my time there between several small groups of residents so usually it ends up being maybe 20 residents yeah. altogether but small they group. have me come to them so instead of me being in one space and funneling all the residents in i go around kind of from room to room um, and it's it's a really wonderful experience. I've actually been to Holiday House three times, and they keep asking me back because um, the their residents are just really engaged by by uh, by music. And it's all about the eye contact, right? Oh yeah, eye contact, and I think fun. I think bringing. Well, okay, tell me about music. performing Enjoy. in the music. big halls where you have 800 people or a thousand people. Do you get the eye contact? Uh, well, I guess it depends on whether or not there's beer being served. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, I think. I, there's there are things to love about both of those uh, both of those opportunities. The big the big rooms obviously have their perks that small rooms don't. But I mean, for for the programs that we do through TAO, I think it's all about having those small uh, you know person to person connections. Watching people kind of come uh, come to life when they hear mm -hmm. a song that they remember. Um, yeah, and and this festival gives yeah. us a, a great opportunity to talk about that work that Tidewater Arts Outreach does of bringing music and arts to people who are isolated because our, our mission doesn't allow us to get out and, and wave a big flag, but this festival does. Mm -hmm. And so we're really excited to have April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th come to town so that people can enjoy buskers in the street and happy hour evening concerts on Granby Street. We've got Sarah Giroux at the Roper. Friday night, we're super excited to be a part of First Friday Norfolk and in the New Arts District. Be? I know. The it. New Arts District, yep, will be um, outdoors. The weather's going to be great because it's spring. <laughs> And, um, and that'll be a, a lot of fun that evening. And then Saturday, uh, we'll be celebrating a We Are Norfolk video release party, which is uh, Sky's video at O'Connor Brewing in the afternoon. And there's some special guests in that video, aren't there? A lot of special guests. Yeah, we had some, uh, some members of the local uh, music community yeah. in, in the video. It's kind of going to be like a Where's Waldo of people that you know from the area, but one really special guest that we had in the video was we actually got Mayor Frame uh, dancing with me uh, do to do the Tide dance. Do you realize how huge that is? I, yeah, I do, because the, because the mayor uh, has been someone that I've wanted to, you know, do chore choreographed dance moves with since I was in high school, <laughs> and I, that dream came true. I, so I you, love how that video <laughs> shows the best well, of North. She's got me kind of... Uh, this is does it. he do that? He does it. In rhythm? He does it. Yeah. 
with mm -hmm. all of the Norfolk ambassadors. Um, when you go downtown, um, the, one of the things that we wanted to do with our video for my song, The Tide, was to show kind of like a cross section of everything that makes Norfolk mm -hmm. great. There's so much um, kind of naysaying about, oh, you got to, you were, you were mentioning earlier something about, you know, whether you have to move out of this area in order to make it. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, Hampton Roads, meh, meh, meh. But there's so many wonderful opportunities for for people in this community now. And what we wanted to do with our video was just to show uh, all the different neighborhoods in Norfolk, all the different people, um, you know, how it's not just like one demographic. It's not just one neighborhood that's cool. It's not just all about the Ghent and the downtown area. There are so many communities all throughout the area that are awesome to look at. So one of my favorite scenes was, yeah, dancing with the mayor with all of the Norfolk ambassadors uh, with us. Those are the people who work downtown mm -hmm. and sometimes, sometimes they drive the Fred, which is free rides every day downtown. And sometimes I think they might be on segways as well. Yeah. You but love this all, place, don't oh, you? Oh, I love it so much. And that's really what the festival's about, is bringing that kind of connection. Yes, mm -hmm. a lot of good energy, great music. Great music and um, a lot of fun people coming so together. April, starting with First Friday. April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. It and starts on Thursday night with Sarah Jarose at the Roper. Wow. There's so much going on on the website. We've put, been putting yes, that up. Yes, yes. Please come to the website. Find us on Facebook. The festival's all over uh, social media. And look for the... The mayor doing this. We're Saturday coming. at O'Connor Brewing. Okay, sing us out. When okay. we come back, we'll be talking about uh, the Reverend Green lecture series. But All right, sing you us guys got to do it with me. Okay. We're coming oh, home. Oh, 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 oh. We're coming home. Oh, 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 oh. You can be in the video. I love it. I love it. <laughs>